Besides uh, just going shopping the day after Thanksgiving, you have to make something out of all the great food that we have. Chef Gregory Leon joins us this morning. Thanks morning. so much for being here. You are the head chef over at Castanas. And, um, you know, I always wonder, what am I supposed to do with all this stuff that's just sitting in my fridge for days? So you have some great ideas for us. There's plenty of stuff you can do with the leftovers in your fridge. Good morning. Good to see you here. Um, we're going to start with Brussels sprouts, okay. which not a lot of people like to eat. And normally in households, what they do is just tend to boil them, cut them in half, and add Steam butter. Steam them, something like that. Everything tastes better with bacon. So what <laughs> we've done this morning is we've cut a bunch of bacon really fine, fried it up, got a lot of the grease out of it, and then grabbed the Brussels sprouts. They're already steamed, so we basically just want to kind of coat them with that fat and then heat them up. So you shave them with your knife. Like How do you shave them? Uh, you cut the Brussels sprout in half, okay. put the cut half down on the table, and just cut it like and that. And then cut yeah, it like that. And you're cutting okay. little small little ribbons of Brussels sprouts. And you put them in the pan with all the bacon, bacon mm -hmm. fat. You can add shallots if you want, onions. Is that what you have in here? I mean, I've this got looks shallots, like like, look. uh, the Brussels sprouts, and bacon. That's it. A little bit of salt, a little oh. bit of pepper. They're very good, hot or cold. You can add some vinegar if you want. Really? Yes. Okay, so you suggest maybe this golden. You can see he's whipped up a whole night's bass for us here this morning. You must have gotten up early today. I got up really early <laughs> and made, I made some that leftovers. And the other ones I brought as leftovers, as you can <laughs> see. We just pulled these out of the uh, refrigerator. Oh, that's great. And, and that was one thing I wanted to ask you, speaking of being in the refrigerator. How many days do you suggest that we eat this stuff until it's, um, you know, throw it in the garbage? Well, <laughs> stuff that sits in the refrigerator for more than two days tends to taste like the refrigerator. <laughs> so I would say mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, that kind of stuff that's got cream or butter in it, one day, two and a half maybe. The turkey usually can keep for about three days. Now, and, and can we freeze the turkey too? If no, no, not really. I mean, you could freeze the carcass and make stock of it okay. out of it afterwards, but I wouldn't freeze the meat. Um, I've got some ideas for what to do with all that meat here in a little bit. Um, stuffing is usually something you can't really recook after other than heating it up. It's good if you put it in your sandwich. Oh. I have okay. a friend who loves to make a turkey, brie, and stuffing sandwich. That sounds delicious. An really open good. face sandwich? Open face, or you can put it in a press. However you want to eat it is fine. Perfect. Well, that sounds great. And uh, just real quick, we have about 30 seconds. Tell us about the restaurant that you're at. It's a cafe. It's called Casana. We're in the third ward. Um, it's a cafe and culinary collaborative. So we have a space where people who work in the third ward or live there can come in and eat. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a collaborative where we invite other chefs to come in, do pop-up dinners, teach classes. Wow. Um, we'll be able to sell what they make in our cafe. So we're very excited about it. We open in January. Wonderful. Gregory, thank you so much. You gave us a great tease because you can tell us what we're going to do with this turkey, which everyone has a bunch left I'm sure over. everybody has turkey. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, so uh, we're going we're gonna to let you go ahead and kind of think about what to do with that. We'll be back in just a second. So great. thanks so much for thank being you. with us early this morning. Well, do you happen to have any uh, fridge full of leftovers after yesterday's turkey feast and you're wondering, what should I do with it? Well, we have a great idea to jazz them up this morning. You're in luck. Lance is standing by with a very special guest this morning. That's right. Thanks so much, Jen. Good morning, everybody. And uh, hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. Chef Greg Leon from Casana here with me. Good morning. Nice to see you. Nice Thanks again you. for being here. Um, Casana in the third ward of yes, yours sir. on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the head chef over there. Now, we've already talked about what to do with those leftover Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. That was a great idea. And I can smell the bacon. You, you, you diced them up, right? You shaved them and. Shaved them, fried it all together. Yeah, yeah. As I said, everything tastes better with bacon. And I wish you could smell it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the smell is just fabulous here. Now we're going to talk about what to do with the bird. With the bird. With the the bird. leftover turkey, which every Everybody seems to have, of course. Because we always buy a turkey that's too big for the yeah, amount of people yeah. that are coming for but dinner. But you count on the leftovers, right? You do, of course. Yes. That's the best part of Thanksgiving is the sandwich that you're going to make with the turkey and the stuff in the next day. I couldn't day. agree more. But if you're done eating sandwiches, um, turkey pot pie is a really good idea. Yes. So you just grab the meat, shred it off the, off the bird, mm -hmm. um, and then carrots, celery, onions, peas, I mean, pretty much whatever you like, you can put in there, mix it all together. Add a little bit of that gravy that you had left over. Oh, nice. Get somebody to make a pie crust for you. Maybe grandma's still staying over. Yeah. Mom. And you can buy. You can buy pie uh, crust. Uh, I'm a big fan of making everything from sure, scratch. But you've got nine kids. You can buy whip that up pretty quick. Yeah. A pie well, crust, I, <laughs> if you're busy, you can always go to the store and yeah. buy some crust. It's already okay. done. Um, you put the filling in it, put crust on top of it, stick it in the oven for about 45 minutes. It's a really good way to use mm. up the leftover turkey. Okay. Turkey stew is really good. Yeah. Um, you can use the mashed potatoes and the turkey and make a turkey um, shepherd's pie. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love with, with the mashed, the mashed potatoes. potatoes on top. Yeah, yes, sir. I've never even thought I've made an actual shepherd's pie. Um, you know, variations of which. But yeah, with the stuffing and the mashed potatoes. Uh, no, I would just no. do turkey and okay. mashed potatoes. Okay. So you save the stuffing for the sandwich. Yeah, there you go. Speaking of the sandwiches, so mm -hmm. I've always liked to add a turkey, uh, stuffing, uh, maybe even some mashed potatoes and the cranberry all in there. But you were talking about another great sandwich. Um, it was turkey, stuffing, and brie. I have a friend who really likes that's how she makes hers. So what she does is she puts it all together, sticks it in the press, mm -hmm. okay. presses it down, yep. 
cheese melts, gets nice. all over the turkey, gets nice. all over the stuffing. It's very, very good. Now, your, your influence is uh, in, in cooking really from the Bay Area, correct? Yes. You got your training? Yes, and I just spent 18 years working in San Francisco, and then I wow. came to Milwaukee to visit over Labor Day weekend and fell in love with the city. Okay, fantastic. So, and now you're here. Tell us a little bit about the, you're talking about a collaborative effort? Yeah. Um, what we do is we have a ginormous kitchen at our restaurant, right. and so we want to share that space with other people, other chefs and food enthusiasts who are looking to start the little businesses. So okay. we have a lady right now who does raw food. Um, we have another lady who uh, her expertise is Afro fusion cuisine. Right. So they come in, they rent space from the kitchen. It's, we want to form a community in the third ward where different chefs and cooks can come and 